Hello, I'm Paul André de Roche, the Archbishop of the uh, Archdiocese of Gatineau. And today I'd like to present you uh, a pastoral letter that I wrote entitled The Turn to Mission in the Archdiocese of Gatineau. This pastoral letter, which was published uh, in September of 2017, uh, seeks to articulate for our diocesan reality the vision that Pope Francis himself has set before the whole church in his beautiful letter, The Joy of the Gospel. What is that vision? It's a vision of a church that moves from being centered on itself, on its own self-preservation, on its structures and on its activities, to a church that is uh, more geared towards the mission, towards uh, what it needs to accomplish in the midst of the world. What do we need to accomplish is, is the proclamation of the good news of Jesus Christ, of helping people to understand that good news and to embrace it and make it their own. So a church, this church that the Pope envisions, is really a, a more missionary church, not missionary in third world countries, but missionary here at home. Um, the bishops of Quebec a couple of years ago decided to hold a day of reflection and we gathered in Trois-Rivières. Uh, there are about 16 dioceses in Quebec, so each of the dioceses, the bishops, the um, vicars general, the coordinators of uh, ministry in the dioceses, a few theologians were with us, the rectors of major seminaries, um, leaders of movements in the church. We, we all gathered to ask ourselves, how can we embrace the Pope's vision and how can we make it come alive in, in the church here in Quebec? And out of that, grew a letter that was written by the Quebec bishops to all the people of God here. Um, that letter was presented to our diocese uh, during a study day that was held last January. And in that study day, we invited Madame Marie Chrétien, who is the Director of Pastoral Mystery, uh, Ministry in the Diocese of Quebec, to come and lead us uh, in that reflection. Following that day, our Diocesan Pastoral Council continued its reflection on this uh, letter, on this initiative, and they suggested that I write a pastoral letter. And that's the pastoral letter that I'm presenting to you today. Uh, the Pope himself explains what his vision is, and I'd like to read an excerpt that I quote in my letter, an excerpt from uh, Pope Francis's The Joy of the Gospel. And this is what he writes. I dream of a missionary option, that is, a missionary impulse capable of transforming everything so that the church's customs, ways of doing things, times and schedules, language and structures can be suitably channeled for the evangelization of today's world rather than for their self-preservation. The renewal of structures demanded by pastoral conversion can only be understood in this light as part of an effort to make these structures more mission-oriented, to make ordinary pastoral activity on every level more inclusive and open, to inspire in pastoral workers a constant desire to go forth, and in this way to elicit a positive response from all those whom Jesus summons to friendship with himself. So this is the thrust of of my pastoral letter, which I will explain in, in subsequent video clips. On our website, you'll find a little tool, a, a text, which will propose a, a few questions to help you to reflect on this letter or, or to reflect on it with some friends. Uh, for this first section, we propose two questions, and I, I'll answer them for myself. First, what strikes me? in this paragraph, in this introduction. Well, what strikes me is Francis's vision. I find it so dynamic, so open. It invites me to rediscover the enthusiasm of the early church that, that went out after the resurrection and had no structures at all, but was convinced that this good news was, was for all people. I, that really empowers me and, and gives me enthusiasm. So I'm already answering the second question, how does this make you feel? Well, it, it makes me feel alive, actually. It, it gives me great hope. At the same time, it, it fills me with questions because I wonder, how are we going to do this? What, what does this mean concretely? 
But then I kind of say to myself, well, the Holy Spirit will help us find the answers to that question. Uh, I think together we'll journey and we'll find out how we can become this church that is open to its mission, this church that is open to its world, to the world and engaged with it. So this is the journey I invite you to, uh, to live and to walk with me in the next videos. Thank you.